The question is, find all solutions to z to the power of 6 plus 1 is equal to 0 for z in the complex numbers. Well, let's just write down that equation. z to the power of 6 plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, well, let's see. z to the power of 6 is equal to minus 1. Now remember to, the way to do this is to use polar form because what I really want to do is I want to do minus 1 to the power of a sixth. Um, like that. And I can do that using polar form because powers are really easy using polar form. So what I really need to do is convert minus 1 to polar form. So let's have a look. Minus 1 is here. And so the distance is 1, so r is 1, so let's see, minus 1 is equal to 1 times, and the angle would be 180 degrees, which is pi, so cis pi. Okay. Alright, so therefore, um, z is equal to cis pi to the power of a sixth and when you do powers of sixes you just multiply the angle by the power so that would be cis of pi on six cool oh but you know there has to be like a plus or minus at least because um when i do the power of six that's the same as i do a square root somewhere so i should get two answers in fact, I should get 6, because I've got a degree 6 polynomial, and I know that in complex numbers, every polynomial has, um, a degree 6 polynomial has 6 answers. Some of them might be equal, but, you know, at least I should be expecting about 6. So where are the other ones going to come from? Um, oh, I know what it is. It's because, it's because p um, minus 1 has more than one representation as um, a in polar form because I could choose any angle if I went round another 2 pi that would give me the same complex number or if I went back like that that would give me the same complex number too so um, actually it's equal to cis pi plus 2 pi k for any k um, an integer. So that would change my answer up here as well. So let's see. So, so that would be cis pi plus 2 pi k to the 6, which would be pi on 6. Pi on 6 plus 2 pi k on 6, so 2 on 6 would be a third, so pi on 3 k for k an integer. And there'd be 6 of those, I reckon. Let's just try it. And I reckon I'll draw them at the same time so that I can be absolutely certain. I'll give myself some space. So... Um, There's my x and y axes. So, k is 0 would be cis pi on 6. So, 1 cis pi on 6. So, I've got a radius of 1. And pi on 6 is 30 degrees. So, that's about here. Like that. So, that's the first one. Cis pi on 6. And then the next one would be pi on 3 from there, which would be... Um, plus 60 degrees, which would be here. So, um, cis pi on 2. Actually, I might just give myself a bit more space and put it up here. Cis pi on 2. And then the next one, if I add another pi on 3, that would be over here. So, that would be cis pi on 2 plus pi on 3 so but uh, 5 pi on 6 
and the next one will be another pi on 3 so that would be down here like that so that would be cis I guess I should use the the um, principal argument so that would be minus 5 pi on 6 and then the next one would be plus another 2 pi on 3 which would be here cis minus pi on 2 and the next one would be here which would be cis minus pi on 3. So there's my six answers because if I go another um, pi on 3 I'll end up back where I started. So they're all my answers. I have six as I was expecting. So that's actually the end of the question. Um, but I really would like to know what all of those numbers are as um, in Cartesian form because it's a little easier for me to picture them. I mean I've got a picture of them there um, on the um, real, on the, sorry, on the complex plane um, but I'd really like to know what all those numbers actually are. So let me start a new page and I'll see if I can find them. Right, so let's do the first one. Cis of pi on 6 is equal to cos of pi on 6 plus i sine of pi on 6. Um, let's see. 1, 2, root 3, pi on 6 is here. So cos of pi on 6 would be root 3 on 2. Sine of pi on 6 would be a half. Okay, so root 3 on 2 plus a half of i. Okay, so that's good. Let's go back to our other page and have a look at that. Alright, so that's not bad. Um, we found the first one. I'll actually draw that diagram again, just so that we can be um, certain about how these things look. So let's have a look. There were six and they were equally spaced around the, the circle there. And so this one was root 3 on 2 plus a half of i. Alright, well the one down below is the reflected version, so that would be the conjugate, so that would be root 3 on 2 minus a half of i. And the one on the other side in the top left hand corner would be um, minus root 3 on 2 plus a half of i. And the one down below that in the bottom left hand corner would be minus root 3 on 2 minus a half of i. And that top one is um, i. And the bottom one is minus i. Just from looking at the diagram. Okay, so um, therefore solutions are z is equal to root 3 on 2 plus half of i root 3 on 2 minus half of i root 3 on 2 sorry, minus root 3 on 2 plus half of i minus root 3 on 2 minus half of i and i and minus i. Excellent. All done.